Men hate when women. Whenever you hear that statement being made by somebody, then you know all that you need to know about the female making it because it's more than likely going to be one of these modern females. That's something they use to preface a statement about something they want to do that's crazy that people know men aren't going to like and that nobody should probably like. But the funny thing is that one of my subscribers reminded me of something about which I've spoken in the past in a comment that he made on one of these videos. Now, I'm going to show you this comment, and of course, I'm going to read it to you for the individuals who can't see the video because they may be driving or something. And after I read this to you, I'm going to explain to you why modern females use this preface when they're speaking about men and what men supposedly like and don't like. So, my subscriber's name is Mr. Sleep. Shout out to Mr. Sleep. And he said, quote, we don't hate bodily autonomy. We're just disappointed in what you decided to do with it, unquote. Now, to what he was referring was a video from this modern female who was complaining about men supposedly hating females having bodily autonomy. And men are like, we don't give a crap about you having bodily autonomy. You can do whatever you want. There's one problem, though. The problem is that you all want to do that, and then you want men to just accept it. And how do they get men to accept it? By doing this language shifting thing. This is just another way for them to exercise that. See, why do they say things like men hate when a female has bodily autonomy? It's because they always want more for less. They always want more for less. Let me explain. Think about it. In dating, they want the man to do everything and them do virtually nothing. That's not how it was before, but it just got increasingly worse over the years, especially since social media came out. Then in a marriage, the man has to do all of his duties. That means he has to cut the grass, maintain the cars, fix things in the house, all of that. But now he has to help her with or even do all of her duties too. Have you noticed that? Yeah, it's because they always want more for less. Then you have these females gyrating as an exotic dancer to do what? Get more money for much less work. They just go out there, gyrate, and people throw money at them, literally. Then you have modern females on their social media accounts putting what? Cash app in their bio. And people just send them things for nothing. There was one modern female who did some mess that I will never forget. She literally had a wish list on Amazon that was like $150. She took a screenshot of it, posted it on her Instagram, and said something like, oh, she wish she can get it, but she didn't have the money. She got 10 guys that just sent her $150 to her cash app via her bio. She took the first $150, bought the items in the wish list, and then the remainder of the money, the other $1,350, she just kept and spent. But every guy she told, she never got the money for it. Every guy. Now, that should be some type of breaking the law type thing. But for some reason, she just was able to get 10 guys to give her the money for one set of items. Crazy. Then these modern females have graduated to what? OnlyFans. To where they get what? Much more money. Virtually doing no work. Look at Bad Baby. Bad Baby made a million dollars in like six hours when she turned 18. And now she's talking about what? All the men who subscribed to her OnlyFans once she turned 18 should be in jail. Because she's saying, oh, they're evidently pedophiles before I was there. So they were liking me before I turned 18. Come on, man. They did something legal, gave her money, made her $50 million in one year. No, I didn't stutter. $50 million in one year. And what did she say? Put him in jail. Again, they want more for less. Now they want to put you in jail after you give it to them. And guess what? 
you go back to the dating scene, they want to even control what men should and shouldn't like. Hence, the increasing shaming of men's preferences. So, prefacing a statement with men hate when women, these modern females can put anything after that in order to shame men, in order to make the man look bad. That's what they do. They can literally say, men hate when women eat. Men hate when women put their shoes on. Men hate when women put on eyelashes. Men hate when women open the closet. They can throw anything in there because it has nothing to do with what the man actually likes. It has to do with them trying to control all pieces of this puzzle and trying to make their lives easier by not having to change anything, not having to give nothing and making everybody else have to give them more, even in thought. <laughs>